GTA players have all sorts of personalities. Sometimes they're mean, sometimes they're nice, sometimes they're just chill. But today, I'm going to be going over 10 types of GTA players and ranking them. So, if you guys want to see more of this content in the future, be sure to like and subscribe, and let's get into it. This man spends all of his money on Warstock, Legendary Motorsport, and Maze Bank. But he can afford it. He's grinded or spent tons of money, and now he doesn't care. He just spends money all willy-nilly and, you know, gets crazy stuff like this. Number two, the newcomer. Most of the time, this guy's traveling around in a stolen car, doesn't have much money, he's new to GTA, he finally convinces his parents and so uh, let him play it and oh okay yeah that that's probably what would happen if a newcomer was driving number three the racer this guy spends a bunch of money trying to get the fastest cars imaginable fastest and nicest might i add this guy is cruising through, through the city at mach 10 i think that car was just floating for a second i could be going crazy doing all sorts of drifts, always challenging people to a race, it's insane. The man and is insane, but he's oftentimes a very good driver. Uh, ignore that. Number four, the troll. These guys are usually in oppressors or planes or the Luxos, but I'm gonna be honest, I can't afford any of those things, but they will sometimes be in ramp buggies, I think. But as you can see, they're just gonna come out here, they're flipping everyone, blowing up everything. If you're doing a job while a troll is in the session, you're, you're, you're done. You're done. No, no, you're getting, you ain't getting no money. Hey, that's the bottom line. You're getting no money. Number five, the casual. This guy really just has any car he wants, and but he's not usually going on with all the chaos that happens in public lobbies. He's just cruising around, having a good time. He's on GTA to relax. Number six, the Explorer. Oh wait, got a bus station. Heh, <laughs> I love busting those guys. Gets them so mad. Actually, number eight, eight the Explorer. This guy is in some sort of off-road car. It may be a ramp car, it may be a dune buggy, it may be the of the wastelander but this man is taking my advice from the last video he's off exploring and he's off-roading he doesn't care where what cars are in his way as long as he gets to explore number seven the cop this guy either has a stolen beaten up police car uh don't worry about that or one of the new purchasable ones and if he sees anyone on the server who commits any sort of violation he will he'll turn their light, their lights on, pull them over, and then I mean, it just depends what the it depends on the crime. I mean, you know, if it was an armed robbery, then they probably like go out there and shoot them. But you know, if it's just a traffic traffic violation, they just pull them over. Number eight, the role player. This guy is always looking for plain black old timey looking cars. Okay, look, this is the only thing I can find that's close to detective role play. Just for the purpose of this video, we're only describing those. He will find the darkest and sketchiest alleyway, park his car there, put a body like about right here, and investigate it. Okay, look, I know it's daytime, just come on, bear with me. Number nine, the job guys. These guys, like the trolls, will often be in oppressors, but sometimes they may be in something else, well, such as the delivery bike. They may be delivering some of their acid, or doing something else, I don't know. But overall, they just want some quick ways to make money. They don't want to spend anything on shark cards, so they want to make it the grinding way. And these people are normally not that annoying. They're usually just cruising around. But if you mess with them, it will, it will, maybe turn into pandemonium. And number ten, the psycho. This guy has got every weapon in the game, and then just starts just. Raising H, if you know what I mean. And he has a minigun, a railgun, whatever you can think of, and is killing everyone in sight. Whether it be server members, actual people, NPCs, police, it does not matter. This man's bloodlust is way too strong. Uh, anyway, we should pro I should probably get out of here so we can actually rank these people. Um, 
yeah. So, now that I've explained all of these people, it's time to rank them in a tier list. Now, don't, don't, um, ignore the fact that there's two Mr. Beasts, okay? It, it, it was an accident. And, but, first up, we have the rich guy. As long as he is not, like, bragging about how rich he is and all that, and he's just, like, you know, being a little bit more casual, he seems fine. So I'm just going to put him at B. This kind of de depends on the guy. The newcomer isn't really that bad. It can, he can be at some times, but I'm just going to put them at B as well. The racer is a sight to see. I'm putting him in S tier. The troll, F. The explorer, especially if they took my advice for the video from the last video, S tier. <laughs> but if they didn't, it's it, it's A tier. But I'm assuming it is. So yeah, S tier. The cop. I will say, I have had one run-in with these guys, and it was pretty fun, so I'm going to put it in A tier. The role player, S. Just, as long as they're not annoying me, the role plays are a lot, seem to be a lot of fun, and I'm all for it. The casual, top of S tier. Move, move the race out of the way. Top of S tier. These guys, they don't do anything to you. They're chill. They're just great people. They don't want to mess you up your, mess up your day. They're just good people. The job guy. I'm gonna put him at C, just because they, there's a there's a slight chance they may, you know, th think that you're an enemy and you know gun you down and all that. The psycho. I'm gonna put him at D because he could be just targeting civilians. Just not players. But if he is just targeting players and civilians, then that'll probably be F. But I'm going to put him at D for now. So here's the tier list. Uh, comment down below which player you are. And if you want to suggest other different types of players for this game, let me know in the comments down below. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, be sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.